Good morning, good morning. Uh, I got Kevin with me today, and we took a little side-by-side -side drive to a new area. And we're really liking what we see. So um, we're gonna pull some samples out of the ground and go back and run them. There's no water up here, so we gotta get back to water. But we're gonna classify up some material and take it back. Um, I don't know what we're gonna find. We've heard there's good gold up in here. So we're gonna try our hand at it and see what we can come up with. But with no water, and there's no real way of testing. Maybe we should have brought a bucket of water with us. <laughs> or honed up on our dry panning skills. <laughs> dry panning skills, there we go. A dry washer maybe? Well, we're our sampling. So we got our first sample from this spot here. Now we're going to sample across the ravine there. Looks interesting. So we're going to take a bunch of samples around here. And who knows? Bob made it up here, so we got three of us. And we'll keep that all on classifying. We'll take them down and test them. Uh, abort <laughs> hole number two because it's just loose, loose, loose. It's an old rock pile. And that's it. So abort that one. Moving up the drain. So this is test hole number three. So this dirt here is basically pushed out of the mountain here. And we are absolutely nowhere near water. But look at this. Quartz. Quartz there. Look at that big old quartz bone. There. There's a, another one over there. It's all over the dang place here. Our thinking is is there's going to be gold and all this stuff around here. Um, this is just pushed out of the bank by a bulldozer. We got quartz all over the place. Square rocks, not really water worn. It is to a point. So it was in a stream sometime. There's some water worn, but a lot of square angular rock too. <clears throat> Oops, look at this big old quartz boulder here. And quartz crystals in that big old boulder. I bet you this one is too, and a lot of uh, jasper in that one. So very, very mineralized. Oh, more quartz crystals over here. Yeah. Quartz crystals in that one. So, yeah, we're going to get some more samples here. Don't know how many. And back down the mountain to get to some water. So we made it back down. This is test pole number one. That we did right on the top of that pile. So we got a five gallon bucket, maybe four gallons. We got three tests. We got Kevin, Bob, and Debbie over there doing a little panning. Okay, test spot number one. There's at least 20 colors in there. And look at all the sulfides and the high, um, heavy irons. Just tons. And that was like super easy digging, three quarters of a bucket. And okay, 20 colors. We'll take that. So let's go ahead. I mean, I dig that all day long. 
But let's go ahead and run test bucket number two. Test bucket number two. Oh, just set it to the side. Or put it in your bottle. <laughs> This was actually the road, the third one. We got them mixed up there. This was the third one, third test we took, but it looked like dirt, but look at that. There's a ton of heavies. And it's kind of hard to see because of the sun, but I'll get this pan down and give you a peek. Okay, out of the, this was out of the road, the last sample we did real duffy dirty looking stuff but there's six pieces of gold in there and one actually pretty chunky so a little closer some little fly poops in there but six pieces out of that test let's move on to the second test which will be the last one see what's in that one we hear lots of noise in the background it's club outing day our buddy Lewis, he's getting all set up behind us. If you haven't caught the rest of the videos for the last two or three, this is my fourth day here so I've been digging I'm running the hobby miner sluice box high banker 1200 gallon hour pump on silicone mats well test number three which is actually hole number two the highest spot on the that hill that we dug this was the highest one the toughest to get to had two pretty decent ones and some fly poop like seven colors so actually I think we're thinking the pan with the 20 colors in it is the one to dig duh so that first hole that we started digging in I think that's what we're gonna go after so I think it's time to head back up the hill okay we made it back up the hill working on this pile and it's hard to see in the sun <laughs> like really hard to see what i'm doing but we're classifying this down we got two buckets already filled in half we're working at it but this is a big old pile here starts clear down there comes around here across the road and goes all the way up there same exact stuff and you can see over time the water and the snow and all that eroded the top of this and that pushed all the fines down and the deeper we're getting in this hole the more fines we're getting it's never been ran it's never been processed i'm assuming it got pushed in here or pulled out of the bank or something a long time ago so i guess and it's hot <laughs> I'm guessing it was dismissed as road material and left. Yeah. They just, whatever, they left it here and. We found gold in it. There is gold in it, so we're going to take a bunch of buckets and I don't know if they'll get ran today or not, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, we got it. We're all loaded up. We got eight buckets classified. That's all it'll fit in the side by side. We're trying to see if we can get the rest of it in without having to make a special trip up here i'll be back in a bit well i got we got back down the hill and i've got four buckets kevin he's going to take his four buckets home and run them but we got a full wheelbarrow here we're going to process it and see if our top of the mountain spot what do we call that pile little tree pile a miniature tree pile I miniature tree pile has got any gold in it well, i'll get this thing See if my theory is correct. I bet we find so better, bigger gold, deeper we were. 
Oh, I bet we did too. Yeah. Oh, that's hot. Okay. Well, <laughs> there's probably a hundred colors in there and some of it is super, super small. Ah, I think it's going to take some more investigating up on that hill. Yeah, there was gold in it, but I don't think that's good enough. But that's just the way prospecting goes. Real life prospecting. So anyway, it's time to get this stuff all cleaned up. It's time to go home. Thanks for tuning in. And we will catch you next time. Bye now.